hey gamers welcome back to our channel today we are diving into the world of PPSSP emulation on android devices if you are looking for smooth gameplay with high frame rates stick around we have got some settings to help you optimize your experience please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button Before we jump in, it's important to understand how these settings work with your phone's hardware. Different devices have varying processing power so that best settings might differ slightly. We will provide some general recommendation. Feel free to experiment and see what works best for you. Let's start with the backend. PPSSP offers two graphics rendering options Vulkan and OpenGL. Vulkan generally offers better performance especially on low-end devices. We recommend trying Vulkan first if your device is highly configured and you want better quality then switch to OpenGL. Our next option is rendering resolution. These settings controls the internal resolution the game renders at. Higher resolution looks sharper but require more processing power. Start with a settings that match your device's screen resolution and play a couple of games to adjust it down if you experience lag. For display resolution, always keep this set to native to match your phone screen resolution. This can help prevent screen tearing but can slightly decrease the frame rates. For smooth performance on low-end device, considering turning it off. On high-end device, you can leave it on. Frame skipping is a setting which skips frames to maintain a smoother frame rate when your device struggles. But use it carefully as too much skipping can make gameplay feel crappy. Start with a low value like 1 and increase it gradually if needed. Render duplicate frames to 60 Hz, these settings can potentially improve frame rates, but it might have some compatibility issue with some games. Experiment to see if it works for you. Buffering and texture setting buffer graphics recommend to one or no buffer can improve performance. Experiment with both to see what works for you. Changing texture filter to linear can improve visuals slightly but it also requires more processing power. Our next option, low resolution for effects. These settings can fix visual glitches in some games. Try it if you encounter graphics issues. Our last two tips is very important. Before playing any games on PPSSP emulator, make sure to close all the background apps to free up your phone's resources for smooth gameplay. Only download games from trusted source like the PlayStation Store to avoid malware and unwanted crashes. By experimenting with these settings, you can find the sweet spot between performance and visuals for a smooth and enjoyable PSP gaming experience on your Android device. See you in the next video. Take care. 